I'm Vincent Lancy. I'm from East Northport, New York, and I went to school at the University of Tampa. I'm 28 years old. I played sports growing up. Baseball is a big part of my life. Played all the way up through high school. I had a great group of friends, great family that supported me. Lived with my grandparents my whole life, so my grandmother is a big role in my life. I was a happy kid going into my last semester of college. I just had no idea that that night going out would be the last night of me being the old Vincent. Joe's birthday, 21 years old. It was a little after midnight. I got tired, so I walked home. I lived about a mile from the bar, so not a crazy, crazy walk. And as I was crossing over the road, got hit by a car from behind. If there wasn't a police DUI checkpoint right there, I don't know if I'd be here sitting here today. It was in the middle of the night, obviously. My folks were up in New York, and they got this call from a Tampa police officer saying, hey, if your son's Vincent Lancey, he was involved in a terrible hit and run accident, and he may not make it through the night. I don't even remember seeing my father, my sister in the hospital because of the traumatic brain injury and me being in a coma. I mean, I can't imagine my sister and my parents seeing me pretty much you know, dead in a way on a table wondering if I'll ever wake up. A doctor, a nurse checked in with me after I woke up from the coma. I said, hey, Vin, what school do you go to? I'm at Pulaski Elementary School. My brain thought I was a five-year-old. I was finishing my finance degree at University of Tampa, but I thought I was in elementary school. You can't finish meals. You can't count to 20. You don't know what school you go to. All of these things are telling me in my mind, it's over. But as you start to progress, showing up to your appointments, you do the little things right, walking up one flight of stairs with the PT's help holding a railing, or acing my homework that the therapist would give me, you know, little things finally propelling you in the right direction. So this new Vincent, what he does, he went back to graduate school, get good enough grades, get chosen by the faculty to deliver the commencement challenge speech at my spring commencement from my MBA, speaking in front of 8,000, 8,500 people. What I love to do is inspire people through my story, whether it's through books or through podcasts or in person, volunteer, help others. And I'm excited to see where the future is going with it because my goal is to touch a lot of people's lives and it's only the beginning for me. I'm blessed to be a part of the TGH family, that's for sure.